Hey guys, what's going on? Today, I wanna to talk about using flash photography during the day for portraits. This is something that I do all the time and I don't see it talked about enough. It's a really, really simple technique. I know a lot of people obviously know how to use the flash at night and oftentimes when you're shooting portraits or let's say you're shooting film for fun, you pull out your point and shoot camera and you use a flash at night. But I don't see enough people using fill flash during the day. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. There's a couple different ways that you can do this, but first off, let me show you an example of some photos with my friend Peace of shooting portraits during the day backlit and shooting it with the flash and without the flash and the difference that that makes. All right, today we're right outside Hyrule Castle in downtown Tokyo. Now this is right outside Setagaya and we're in Todoroki Park today. I brought my friend Peace. Peace, you know from previous videos, this is Peace. Please subscribe to his channel, I'll link it down below. Peace is gonna model for me today. Today we're talking about fill flash, more specifically using the flash during daytime, how and when and why to use it. Fill flash is great because for this instance in particular, today we're gonna have Peace sit down and have him backlit. The lights could be coming from the back here. And when you do that, you have the subject's face oftentimes too dark, the features are completely muddled out and it's something that you don't do in typical photography. That's one of the things they, they teach you. You wanna make sure that the light's hitting your subject, you got the nice triangle, perfect lighting. But a little hack that you can do and something that I don't see done enough is actually using flash during the daytime. So I have a flash day, a Nikon speed light on my Sony a7 III. A lot of times I use the, the flash on point and shoots or film cameras, film SLRs, I'll have a flash on top of it, an external one, or even the point and shoots I use, use a lot recently, right? Do you ever use the, the flash in the point and shoots during the daytime? Not in the daytime though, only at night. So it's something that you can use at the night, a lot of people use in the daytime. Sometimes when you force flash, you can do a lot of good fill flash photography. So today we're gonna do that. So real quickly, let me get Peace sitting down here. Let me take a photo without the flash first. This is Peace, tilt your chin down just a little bit and kind of lean forward just a little bit onto your leg, perfect. This is peace without any flash. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot peace with the flash. My flash settings got 132nd. You have to play with your flash settings on whatever camera you have set up. Right here I've got ISO 640, 1 200th of a second, f2.8. And here's peace with the flash. Let me take a couple different couple different poses here. Can you lean down a little bit? Just like on, maybe have your, your arm, yep. This is with the flash, without. And even a, maybe a bit wider. Without the flash. And let's do it with the flash. Let me take a couple more examples just to, just to show you almost like direct backlighting. And without the flash. All right, let me take one final one here. Can you stand up on the uh, on the actual rock? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just want to get you with the without the flash. Oh, that's with the flash. Sorry, and then without the flash. Yeah, so that was a quick demonstration on how you use fill flash during the day. Let's go back to the studio and I'll show you a couple more examples of fill flash. So fill flash is a really simple technique that I use almost all the time during the day for portrait photography. This is a Contax TLA 280, a very cheap flash and it's a very simple flash. And here we have a Nikon SB Speedlight 600. This is another one that I use very often. Um, they're both really cheap flashes. And I don't necessarily think that you need to buy a super high-end flash to first of all, test this out. And then second of all, get really good at using fill flash. There's different ways that you can diffuse a light if you don't like the harsh shadows that sometimes a fill flash presents. You could get a really thin white cloth and diffuse the light in front of it or use reflectors to minimize the shadows. But besides using an external flash, obviously in a lot of point and shoot cameras for film users, you can actually force flash or set the flash mode directly on and not have it automatic. 
and that way you can force the flash to turn on during daytime situations. So yeah, that's Phil Flash in a nutshell. I just want to make this video to show you how flash isn't just for nighttime photography. It's very useful during the day. It's something that I use all the time, whether that be for client shooting or just with friends and trying to make really cool photographs with uh, sort of like relaxed environments. So yeah, next time you're outside shooting portraits, try and use a little Phil Flash and see what kind of results you get. As always, please like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.